This video is on SMB. Server Message Block Protocol lets one share resources. It provides access to data, files, devices, and other assets on the network. It's a network file sharing protocol, also known as Client Server Communication Protocol. As admin, one can enable printer sharing in their organization, for example, which allows for a person to have access to multiple printers. It's commonly used to provide access to resources like printers, ports, and files. But that's not all. SMB also enables network browsing, which uses SNMP to browse a network for connected devices. Additionally, SMB protocol enables inter-process communication through name pipes or mail slot names over a computer network. One of the most common ways of implementing SMB support is by running Samba. Samba is a free program and it's the standard Windows interoperability suite of programs for Linux and Unix. SMB contains two levels of security checks called user and share checks. User has to be authenticated with a username and a password, while share has to be authenticated with some security code. SMB is an application layer protocol that works over TCP IP on port 445. SMB is generally secure, but to be safer, one should update and patch block SMB at the network level, restrict and protect SMB at the host level, and use authentication and encryption. Oh, my God.